Hi again YouTube, PNW Fun Stuff here, and I'm making this video just to uh, kind of make the point of quality control on on products that we buy. This of course is my new Cold Steel American Lawman, an S35VN. Um, I've been carving with this quite a bit since I've received it. Uh, probably put about uh, 14 hours of carving into it. Well, uh, my issue is that this morning... I was carving this with it, which is, this is ebony wood, so this whole video could be me just being anal with my cutting edges and my blade steel, but uh, I use S35VN, that's my favorite steel because it's easy to sharpen, and when I get it sharp, it is very bitey, and it takes a really razor sharp edge when I need it to. With this particular one, this is the first time I've had this happen with some cold steel S35VN, I was carving this piece this morning, and... A big chip came out of the middle of the blade here and it took me about 40 minutes to correct it with sandpaper and whatnot. You can't see it now because I've corrected it and whatnot. But it's the first time I've ran into the S35VN doing that to me. Now it could be because I'm carving ebony wood, which is an extremely dense, heavy, exotic wood that can damage blades very easily. It's damaged a lot of, you know, lower quality steels in the past but with s35 this is the first time i've ever experienced it and i'm always talking good about cold steel and everything like that which i think they're great they're one of the only knife brands that i purchase anymore um and this is no different but i thought i'd bring it up just to make a point that sometimes with at least the cutting edges and whatnot this is probably the third time i've ran into it out of all the years i've had cold steels but the first time that has happened with S35BN, um, that the blade has taken a chip just from normal carving of the wood. Uh, and so I thought I'd make a quick video on it, just a headline that, you know, sometimes it might be because I'm anal, or sometimes it's just maybe the edge was, the cutting edge was not properly ground uh, evenly on both sides, thusly weakening the actual durability of the edge. It's fixed now, but I thought I'd bring it up because I think it's a good point to make. That some people, they'll judge the steels before use, before heavy use, I should say. And sometimes it's not the steel, it could be just the angle of the grind on both sides being uneven. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.